Once you have an easy to score test that you're not going to misuse, the third problem pops up. Personality tests are unreliable. They don't give consistent results. To be really useful, a personality test has to measure a consistent factor. If you're impulsive one week and risk averse of the next, that's not personality. It's mood. Moods fluctuate wildly, but personality is thought to be stable throughout your life. If you are a Leo today, but act like a Scorpio tomorrow, it is going to be difficult to predict what you're going to be like next week. But if you are always shy, always outgoing, or always artistic, you can wear your personality label proudly. You can even be emotionally unstable, as long as you're consistently unstable. If you want to know how accurate your personality test is, ask about its test-retest reliability. It turns out to be difficult information to get. They don't usually publish the reliability coefficient. They simply say their test is very reliable, or well within industry standards. That's code for it sucks. But here's why you need to know what they won't tell you. You take the test this week, and it says you're introspective. What happens when you're retested two weeks later? In most cases, your favorite personality test will give you different results on different days. Sadly, they're not reliable. Your IQ is reliable. From week to week, month to month, year to year. It might only be measuring your ability to take vocabulary tests, but it's a really good test of that ability. With personality tests, you're lucky if they spell your name the same. They have terrible test-retest reliabilities. Of course, part of the problem is that personality tests are self-reports. You're asked a series of questions. They're not based on actual knowledge of you. They are based on what you report is true of you. There is no way to know how much people distort their answers. You can see the problem. You might lie. And maybe you should. If you're applying for a sales position and they give you a personality test, hopefully you'll say, shame on you for misusing this test. But since you'd need a job and will undoubtedly take the test, wouldn't you be crazy not to answer the questions in such a way that it says you are outgoing, like people, and are a self-starter? In an attempt to control or at least detect faking, some tests reuse items or ask lots of questions. But this mostly becomes a test of memory. Are you smart enough to remember your lies? Most personality tests should simply admit that they are mood tests. There's nothing wrong with being what you are. Being a paper-pencil version of a mood ring might sound silly, but it's a perfectly acceptable thing to be. Next, we'll look at validity. If personality tests aren't reliable, are they valid?